everyone, welcome to Hogwarts Legacy Series. Guys, I am super excited about playing this game. I've been waiting for so long. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I'm going to. Uh, first of all, before we get into this, uh, we have a little bit of character creation. So this is going to be uh, probably a longer series or a longer episode than I normally do. I usually do about an hour if you're new here. Uh, but usually the first, the first episode in the series is probably usually like three hours long. So, uh, two to three, depending on how things are. So, uh, let's get going. I am going to play with the controller, uh, instead of a keyboard and mouse, I might switch back. It all depends on how I feel. Uh, but it looks like we have some presets here that we can start off with. Uh, I did have a poll up on the community section of selected names that the patrons uh, came up with and the name that came that, that everybody voted for was Agnar Whitlock. So we're going to be creating a we're going to be creating Agnar Whitlock. So let's see here. Who who are we going to be? I think I mean we'll definitely modify it a little bit. I think that looks like a an Agnar, right? Somewhat Wow, they do have quite a bit of customization here, which is kind of cool. So we can go with glasses. I don't think I don't think he has glasses. Let's see. Let's go about right there. Is this clothing now? Nope, this is haircut. So hair color. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is he's going to have more of a a lighter hair color, something like that. And no, not nothing like that. <laughs> um, kind of like the shorter hairs. That's just a preference of mine. No, we're not going to go bald. Something maybe something that's short and maybe messy. Don't really have anything too short. Let's go with that. Let's just go ahead and see what colors we have here. Uh, let's just go over here. I really like the colors that they gave you. They are pretty sweet. Uh, so black. It would have been nice if they had kind of a, a color range that you can select from, but you're 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 only. I, I guess, you know, they they have a color palette and they they want to make it so it's I don't know easier and less decisions. I mean, because this is usually the hardest part is, is customizing, I think, honestly. We're not going to go with any crazy colors. I want to kind of go back to that reddish, brownish look. No, actually, no. I, I kind of like that color. Let's go with that. Complexion. Let's go with less freckles. Uh, less wet red cheeks. Something like that, I guess. Freckles and moles. I mean, he's going to have some, I guess. I guess. I, oh, you don't have to have some. You can do a mole. Yeah, let's go with a mole right down there. Uh, what about Scars? He's kind of... Kind of like the one across the eye. It's it's not... It's kind of subtle. Yeah, that'd be like a, a claw of something. He got attacked by a beast. Yeah, I kind of like that, but I wish it was on the other side. I mean, they have the small one here. All right, we'll go with that one, I think. 
eye color. What shall we pick? Yeah, let's go with a green. Eyebrow colors. Uh, one thing that they should have done was more of a, a match button here that would match the hair color so that you can kind of get close to it at least. That's probably what probably what it is right there, right? I wouldn't mind having it a little darker. No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's kind of keep it the same. I don't like the the brows too much, though. Nope, we're definitely going to go with the brows. <laughs> I mean, you can go completely hairless, it looks like. Yeah, something like that. That works. I like that. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I kind of like the default. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That sounds odd. That was it's quite very odd. something. A few cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Do they? That was quite something. The audio sounds odd. A few cobwebs and some dust. Yeah, we'll Nothing go with that. We're going to go with the normal. Uh, just for the time being. Uh, now let's see. Name. Agnar Whitlock. And we, of course, are going to be a wizard. And I think that's everything. Did I spell the name right? Yeah, Whitlock, Agnar. Awesome. Yeah, that looks like an Agnar. I think he's also properly dressed. And I am pumped. Ah. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time again. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. So the game is pre-Harry Potter. It's kind of like early on... in, like, kind of the magic setting. Whoa. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year 
How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. Kind of looked like it a spray can at first. Owl, but with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh boy. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do Whoa. Hang on. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I I get going, buddy. was insane. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Happened. Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Whoa. Oh, man, I am excited about this. I mean, the graphics are incredible. Far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. 
But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Faded as it can be. Okay. Mind your step. I guess we're going. Whoa. The looking is kind of uh, very heavy. Where do you heavy. suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. It's gonna take me a little bit to. Why was your wife searching for evidence? Figure off controls here. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent. Okay, so you can use the camera to select. Uh, use the camera, which is the right a stick to select the active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in the settings. Okay. We'll try it out and see what happens. Whoa. I'm guessing we're gonna have a fight here. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Oh but, uh... your one works improving with every car. Thank you, sir. Kind of get used to fighting here. I'm actually going to try it with a mouse and keyboard real quick. Ah, up there. All right, what about over here, though? We're close now. It's just ahead. Get all the pots. Steady yourself. Reparo. Whoa. That's insane. Almost there. That's cool. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's Statue? have a look around for anything that seems out of place. All right, let's go over here. The statue. Uh, okay, the minimap shows your surrounding with the arrow in the middle. The symbol is your current objective. Press and hold V to toggle. Object. Okay. 
Oh, you gotta press and hold it. Oh, it kind of gives you a nine. Professor. Interesting. This statue. This may have been his home. Oh, I can get rid of that. There we go. All right, while he's over there, is this anything? Can I jump? Oh, I can. Wouldn't let me to jump before. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like there's something right there. Explore the ruins. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? So he's kind of got like a vision going on. What's this, Professor Fig? Whoa! Can I go in here? Or is this the same thing where I gotta attack it? I gotta wait for him, maybe. How odd! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Interact with magic. Oh, here we go. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. We just go through it? Oh, we did. What's that noise? Oh my goodness. Hello? That's a goblin banker snoring. moment. <laughs> Does he know him? <laughs> or both of them. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. How's he know that? Precisely. The key? Wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Oh, I'm playing on it. Oh, sweet. After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Am I gonna get buckled in first? Guess not. How many volts are Whoa. there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon, 
Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? <laughs> oh. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. Whoa. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Great oh, was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. That's crazy looking. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Security? Oh boy. Professor, hmm? the old band that God was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I wonder if he's going to meet us there. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 Holy. until today. Wow. And it's 12. empty. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I was not expecting we were going to go on this kind of a trip right away. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> and we get out how? That was certainly unexpected. I think through that Let door. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. Uh, study your wand and guide it through the symbols of the path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding inputs to prompt for accuracy in your wand. Oh, so I just... Around here... Interesting. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Whoa. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn That's not good. our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. 
Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Rebellion. Can I learn the light spell as well? I see something up ahead. Oh. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Oh. Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The Kinda reflection reversed. is still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps oh, you should cast Lumos. Yes, please. Oh, nope. Keep going. Uh, you acquired the Wand Lighting Charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted in your spell uh, set. Lumos creates a light on the tip of your wand and helps you see in darkness. Okay. Lumos. Well done. Oh. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It Whoa. does follow the light. Oh god. I don't know if this is good. Oh, this isn't good. Potato. Adio. Defendo. Oh. Levioso. Deposo. Levioso. Oh, there's like combo attacks. Oh, I am digging this. You can't really move while you're attacking. Oh boy. Review the objective to real. Okay, so it just says incoming. Oh! I see. Oh. Misunderstood. Alright, now we're doing basic casting. Stay close! Oh, I am. Lumos. Oh. Professor! God. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where Whoa. am I supposed to go? I think we're supposed to follow the lights. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, here's another one of those. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Oh, another room. Oh, boy. Lumos. Well, there's two of them now. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Oh, boy. I don't want to stand there. Oh, maybe I do want to stand there. 
seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh boy. Oh! Should have blocked that one. That's so satisfying. Okay, so hold Q during uh, during Protecto Protego to stun enemies with a Superfy counterattack. Stupefy. Stunning enemies will take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Oh boy. Oh, whoa. Kind of like all reddish. Oh, I thought I was like underwater. Wow. Oh, what is this? The vial of some sort. Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Oh. The old memories, maybe? Oh, yeah, we, I know this. Part of the books. Follow my lead. Put your head in the water. Whoa. All is in place. The pokey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. 
the magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Whoa. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. He's got a little power behind him. Out of here, <laughs> like now. I know a way out. Oh. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Where are we at? Kind of have an idea. Yeah, we're right outside Hogwarts. A great intro <laughs> that was awesome oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony i'm no expert but 
that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Sweet. Now, I have already went through the sorting Phoenix, on Wizarding Black. Worlds. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the Goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Well, I hope so. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Oh, wow. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Here we go. What house are we going to be joining? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't wait to do the classes, but I can't wait to explore. That's, <laughs> that's my biggest thing. I want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Gryffindor. So like I was saying, I did go on the wizardingworld.com and uh, I did get, I did take the quiz and it matched me up with Gryffindor. Let's go ahead and accept the house. Better be Gryffindor. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Aww. There's Enough. no Quidditch? It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but... Don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. So no Quidditch? Oh, man. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. 
As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I, I remember the first time I entered 100%. the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata, Grata Domum. Domum. You may enter. I hope I don't have to remember that because I'm very, really bad with remembering things. <laughs> well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Sweet. Oh, man, look at that. Beautiful view. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. All right, guys, let's let's explore. Uh, so let's just take a look and see what we have for keys. So we have the four spells. I am using um, my mouse and keyboard currently. Uh, if I decide maybe later on, maybe to try out the, key, uh, the uh, controller again. But I'm kind of liking the whole PC layout right now. Uh, there is, I don't know what T does. It doesn't allow me to do it. Revelio. I can use my spells. Oh, I didn't mean to do that twice. But it has T. I don't know what T does. Is there anything in here? I don't, probably not. So we're heading that direction. So yeah, we're heading up. Now, which way is the common room? You can go up further. Oh, so cool. No one's here though. Got all the trophies. Moving pictures. <laughs> That's so cool. Level one lock. So there's kind of a lock picking. Different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. You're talking about me. Stop talking about me. Ooh, what is this? Can't do anything with it right now. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. I can't imagine starting a new school this All right, so I guess I'm introducing myself. Here, have a sip. Go on. What are you drinking over here? Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. I can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Okay, so there's some dialogue here. Cool, 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 cool. Um... And you can do whatever you want. Uh, that must be awkward. That must be nice. Um, let's just say that must be nice. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Um, What's in your mug? Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? 
Oh Good no. Reason. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Uh, do you have a knack for potions too? Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference fundamentally between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right. That's Gareth. She gets bolder every year. Oh. That's cool. If I get caught, I shan't defend anything you. for attention. Oh. How do you do that? Shame you weren't born with wings, then. I'm sure you use them. <laughs> oh, he's using his wand. What is this? House chest. Oh, what did I do wrong this time? This armor just moved, didn't it? Sandra? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Oh, Pleasure Cressida. To meet you, Cressida. Sorry. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Uh, I studied with him. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Hmm. Perhaps you need a little bit more practice. Let's just say perhaps you need a little bit more practice. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast like spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. What is it? Uh, how hard is it to cast nonverbal spells? Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. <laughs> he was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny to watch. Um... <laughs> Did most students uh, cast non-verbally? Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. I wonder how many years there are. Uh, well, I wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Cressida, okay. I'm guessing Cressida... I guess these three are going to be kind of like our friends. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> How about that? Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> Is that a hint? I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened Maybe to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Um, yeah. There was nothing I can handle. <laughs> well, let's just say it's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Um, what are you, uh, what are the people saying about the, my travel here? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? 
Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five, still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. No, and I'm excited to... I, I bet there's some really cool secret passages in here. Uh, you have encountered... Have you encountered a dragon? I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. Uh, it's nice to meet you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Oh, you she's going back up. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Okay. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Whoa. Here you are. Whoa. What, that? what is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh. Thank you, Professor. Bridges put what it. What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Where did he just put that book? It just like zip this zap way. disappeared. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate Paintings. yourself about wizarding lore. <laughs> Potions is dull and charms is dire. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Is that what tea is for, maybe? Can't use it yet. I'm, ah, I'm keeping up. The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. <laughs> Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Oh, interesting. Okay. He once said instead of F, he found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Oh, he once said S instead of F. <laughs> uh, you just unlocked Field Guide Challenge. Your progress towards completion of the challenge appears here. Oh, on the left hand, the Field Guide Challenges are only way to acquire experience points or XP. Escape. This is your wizard level XP earned from the fee from the challenges increase your level and power. The field guide tracks your current progress. Uh, select the challenge and menu to continue. Whoa, okay. Oh, we have combat, quests, exploration. 
Room of Acquirement. Collecting your first page unlocks unlocked a new challenge category. New can so how do we how do we know that? I mean, do we just have to run around and use Revealio? Each challenge has tiers. Special uh, rewards unlock each tier you complete for appearance appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed uh, from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards. Rewards you have unlocked. Awesome. Have you ever had a cold Clever, day? isn't it? I didn't think Keep your eyes open for more know. opportunities like that. Yeah, inside but... and outside of the castle. I didn't quite see any... Oh, little kitty cat. Good little kitty. That's cool that they added that in there. Oh, there's a lock. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay, I'm coming. I just want to explore. Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, we got a little bit of gold. So I'm guessing the... Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, discover the flu flames fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Oh, sweet. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and indicates the house common rooms in the Great Hall. Like the South Wing region to continue. So we can select this or the the flags. This is in this view you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames that have been discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the locations of undiscovered. The right side of the map is where You'll find all academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flame for you. Use A and D to rotate the map. Oh, okay. Uh, and fast travel to the central hall flu flames. Hope I did that right. And this is uh And here we are. Well, that's Quite fast. Time saver. That's a really really These fast. These stairs lead directly to Central times. Hall. Wow. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh, very cool. Can you tell me more about the Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is the Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, auras. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. It's you mentioned Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. 
You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Yeah. Um. There is, in fact. No, we were supposed to t tell anybody no. I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. Yep. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Sweet. All right, let's talk to uh, Professor Fig here. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I sure did. <laughs> I didn't like to lie to her. Uh, yes, uh, you did, sir. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Uh, so hit the map. That symbol represents the main quest. Completing the main quest will further the story, unlocking new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. Okay, so there's like a lock symbol. In these cases, you'll need to re you'll need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate this quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as or as quest rewards. Okay, so we can oh, alright, so this is how we go ahead and do our select what we're gonna do. Let's go grab. Can't really look at the rewards. Accio? Or do we go Levioso? I would 
let's go uh let's go over here and track this quest Ooh, i kind of like that the map is enchanted to help you find your way this will be incredibly helpful thank you now sounds like you've quite a day ahead what with classes and a trip to hogsmeat for supplies including your own wand you'll enjoy mr ollivander he's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Oh, very cool. Okay, so we can just basically follow along. Cast Charmed Compass. Oh, that's sweet. What is oh, this? What am I? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. Potty. I never noticed it before. <laughs> if I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Okay. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Well, we only have two spells, Lumos and Revilio, so... Are other paintings like this here? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Okay, perhaps I'll look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Now, she wasn't really standing in front of a painting. Do okay, come and find here it me is. if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos! That oh. spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay, we're looking for a statue with stairs, and you can see a pillar in the background. It's no wonder Not over here. Oh, kind of maybe telling us where we need to go? <laughs> This looks like the location from the Oh, there painting. it is. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, it's following me. Oh, it's following the light. Okay. What am I supposed to do now? Ha! I knew there was a connection. Oh, okay. There I should go. tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Wheat. Okay, that's a field guide. Awesome. Okay, let's go up there and tell her that we figured it out. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. <laughs> you have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! A moth to the flame. Oh. Oh, we leveled up! Okay, since we leveled up, is there something... So we have quests, gear. Oh. Black leather gloves. Yeah, let's put some black leather gloves on. We have some glasses. Nah. At. Yeah, I don't. Nah, not right now. Uh, is there is there armor to that? I don't think so. No. Yeah, it adds no defense. 
can put a a beige scarf. Yeah, we'll go with the out one. And then we do have school robe. Not be upgraded. Okay. And then we have some unlocks here. Flying mount, a broom, three upgrades, and then the wand handle. Oh, okay, we so so we have an inventory, notes, resources, and beasts. Beasts. Collections. Oh, all right. So here's the painting. Challenges. Yeah, so we unlocked two of them. Oh, so we unlocked the the glasses. Oh no, we just claimed them just now. Is this the next one then? Yeah, it is. So you have to do eight of them. Quests. All right. Okay, so I guess we need to go to our perspective class and we'll kind of explore on the way just in case there is other kind of like side quests this is the first gym I'm doing. and we just go in and oh, we can go in any door all right we need to go that direction Oh, I finally hit T. Oh, okay, here's our our layout. Oh. Basic cast. Revealio. Trectro. Supify. Okay, so here's all the things that we can unlock. Oh, very cool. Oh man, that, so we're gonna have to learn a bunch more quests or a bunch more than we can we can set which one we have. So we have four levels that we can kind of have different combinations of. Let's see, where do we need to go up this way? Really like that ability. That's makes it really easy to find where we need to go. Oh. Man, this place is massive. Oh. I want to fly. So how am I supposed to know which painting is which? Whoa. <laughs> Getting chased around. Whoa, is this a thing? Revelio. Oh, something happened. Oh, oh, Joe's chest too. Handy oh, resource sweet. indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. There's something down there, and then there's a chest here. Oh, in the bathroom. Oh, I'm in. I'm kind of in the girls' bathroom, aren't I? <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to remember to look for those. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Oh, here we, we go. We have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back. Revelio. It's kind of interesting that we have to go to classes. Oh, there's another chest there. Don't know why. The I'm kind of curious on how this is gonna go. Here, behind you. 
There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. Oops. <laughs> My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Nope. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns <laughs> summoning one them object. out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. So we're... Ah, okay. Accio. 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 That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Wait. There is seems to be a little bit of issue between loading. No, it's... Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with between mastery, rooms. as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us like would right agree. Now. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Oh, interesting. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Uh, okay. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Oh. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The Somebody. trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, yes. I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. All right, so it's saying to tap it to assign... Okay, tap the assign key, and then pull the target closer, tap the begin to cease. Akio. Very good. Don't. Don't lose your composure. Excellent control there. That one's a lot better. Splendid. Oh. Stop. Oh. Happens to the best of us. No. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. She's gonna whoop me, I bet. 
You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you oh. are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Oh, so we take turns. What's this? Oh. Oh, she's good. She's good, but can I... Can I do this, though? Akio. Oh, I didn't... I, I was thinking about maybe knocking it off. That's 40 Let's points. See. Let us see this. Oh, 30. I'm going to try knocking hers off. Oh, nope, it didn't hit it off, but now I gave her both well 50 done. points. <laughs> Here we go. Seriously? Oh, come on. There we go. All right, let's see here. Akio. Oh, oh, I lost. Can we do that again? I can do better. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? How so? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. I think she's gonna beat me. <laughs> oh. Oh, it kind of like stopped. That is how it's done. Akio. Go 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 go! Stop 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 stop! Yeah. Take Very that. Good. Let us see this. Yeah, just knock your ball. Oh, she's good. Yes! You're good. You're good, but let's try this. Nope. Oh, stop. Stay focused. Here we go. I lost. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I just need a 50. There we go. All right, let's see if I can get a clean 50 here. Oh! She lost. She lost those points. Akio. 50, 50, 50, 50. Yes. I will get you back for that. Oh, she did lose the points. Sweet. Very good, both of you. Well done. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't uh, kind of expect the, the ball Passes to roll dismissed. so far. Gather your things on the way out. All right, cool. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Hmm. I'm holding my own. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Oh, very cool. How big is Uganda? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Or Wagadu, <laughs> Wagadu sorry. Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. <laughs> so yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. I'm just so distracted from everything around. I'm just like looking at others things up there, things that are moving. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. 
It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Oh. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Why not? That's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Right. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Ah. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word if reasons, you would. If you're so. Inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. What is up here? Oh, locked door. Revelio. Is there anything special in here? No. Oh, that's where that chest is up there. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah, Samantha. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Um, that's kind of you to say. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> All right. Uh, so their next quest is going to be dark arts. Get some more gear. Scarf. Oh, that's right. We had a. Oh, this has two offense. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that on. Take a look at the map. Yeah, like I was saying inside there, there was a, there's an issue with loading for some reason. Um, I got a pretty decent graphics card, pretty decent computer, and it's just lags. Not sure if that's kind of a bug or whatnot. Levioso. Okay, we want to go and do this quest here. Let's go ahead and track that. Which direction do we need to go? You know, it does help to oh. Off on another adventure, are we? Did we already grab that one? Yeah, we must have. Hold on one second. I want to... And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. What is this? Oh, Reveal. I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling Open? lies. Open? You're telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, this... Fight! Fight. It's a this is a puzzle. Lumos. Stop it, Peeves. Huh. You'll get us in trouble. Revelio. Not sure exactly what we need to do there. Enough. Oh. You'll get us all detention. Roll. <sighs> and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack. But you're all in trouble with Professor Flack. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, there's another one over here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold the door. That's locked. There's only two, though. One there, one there. There's another one around here somewhere? Have you ever been to the kitchen? I hear it's run by house. Oh, I see a chest. Ooh. Elf made. Ivory gloves. Yeah, no, it's just those two. All right, so not quite sure what we need to do here. Maybe we can't unlock this. Is this like a random roll? The zero three and then question mark. All right, we're going to have to probably come back to there. There's probably some way to do that. No. Why are you flying around? Revelio. Interesting. All right, we're heading this way for our dark arts training defense training Is there anything down here this cat oh what is that noise Revelio. oh you hear that Where is that coming from? <laughs> Down here? See, it's further away now. Alright, maybe it's upstairs. Revelio. Oh my goodness. Is there something... Oh, I am, like, right on top of it. It sounds like it's right here. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna leave that for the time being. I'll probably find it at some point in time. Let's get to class. Revelio. Yeah, see, I don't hear it. I was thinking maybe at some point in time... Oh, here, is this... I go in the wrong direction. I went the wrong direction. Ah. Down the stairs. Oh, look at this. Revelio. <laughs> this is gonna drive me nuts. Oh, right here, right here, here it is. Sweet. Irish Phoenix. Huh. That should give us some experience points. All right, which way are we going? This way. There's some eyes looking at me. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Oh boy. Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. 
knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right. All right, so we're gonna do this again. I'm guessing at time goes, these are gonna become more complex, possibly. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Whoa. I couldn't imagine being in here. Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This yep. time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Marshall. Oh. Now, well done. Levioso. Oh, you can go even higher. Okay. How long is he going to stay up there for? Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We oh start boy. with you. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, Protego too. Levioso. Good form. I know. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. But they got to be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do. Whoa. I'm all my students for this event. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as Blast you get. Blasted them. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Sweet. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay. Uh, so we can talk to oh, some of the students? I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that <laughs> duel was quite something. <laughs> Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Oh, wow. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, not even my wand. This wasn't your first duel. Um, I've had my share of wand combat. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. 
You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. <laughs> really? Uh, sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, oh. you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was <laughs> sheer oh. luck or actual skill. Oh, it was skill, Look for buddy. Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Cool. Till next time. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Awesome. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. We got to level up. We got some more gear. Uh, yeah, we had another set of gloves. Yeah, let's go. We found those. Oh, there's little lots on some of these, too. Look at that. We have upgrades. I have no idea how to upgrade. We don't have anything here yet. Or at least we have some, but I... It, yeah, we have 8 of 20. But we... They're probably... Too high level, possibly. Okay, let's take a look at our challenges or collections. I have 11 collections. Now, do I have to come in here every time to collect these? These are from the DLC. here. Yeah, just the two paintings. Alright, challenges. Quests. Oh, okay, so we can unlock that. So we got some new gloves. Why don't I see them, though? used. Quest. Gloves. Legendary gloves. Why don't I have them in my gear? Do I need to go out first and then come back in? That seemed kind of weird. Frost wands round one. Oh, this is the dueling side quest main quest. Oh, OK, now I understand what this is. Uh, let's go to this one now. We're heading that way. Why don't we try to Rebellion. see if there's any hidden secrets around here? We have a ding. This way. Oh, here it is. East window. Very cool. Revelio. Yeah, nothing else. Two staircases, and this is where they put me. Everything talks here. Oh, right here. Painting depicts a young orphan wizard, Helios. Ah, 
All right, so we need a couple more to complete that quest. Revelio. Nothing aw, way in the distance. Oh, I gotta go down. Oh, through this door. Oh, here we go. Transfiguration Courtyard has lightness of the wyvern on top of this and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Sweet. Lots of cats around this area. Revelio. That tree just changed. I'm going to go ahead and save. I think that's how you do it in settings. We'll just pick an empty slot here. We haven't saved in quite some time. We'll do that before we head into here. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. There I am. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh, no, Professor, there isn't. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a stream. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yes, Professor uh, Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Oh, sweet. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh, what spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Um, what can you tell us about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Ooh, just for me. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Sweet, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, what about, uh, let's grab Sebastian, I guess. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and mm. his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. 
The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Butterbeer. Uh, we haven't gotten the other assignment. Oh. Rebellion. Wasn't there something right here? Yeah, look at that. So, I, okay, now I gotta go speak to him. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when completed reward with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be Mending Charm, Reparium. Required for other quests. Sweet. Oops. Partially transfigured teacup. All right. We're getting closer to finding everything. We only have a- Rebellion. Well, I take that back. It's probably not everything. It's just a few things. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, so let's head this way. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else out here. Oh, here he is. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink Sweet. of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. Wait, so I don't... I don't do the Repero first? I have to do these other tasks before I can learn it? What is the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page on the defense against... Yeah. I remember seeing that flying page. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. How do I... Oh, you know what? There we go. Gotta head this way now. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Yeah, didn't we see it? Oh, we got a side quest here. Let's uh, talk to her. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I see the page. I see the page. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? No, I'm not. Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. <laughs> sounds awful. Gobstones, uh, it actually sounds interesting. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, <laughs> it's their own fault for losing. I'm guessing she's really good at the game. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. 
And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh no. Uh, uh. Sounds like you, uh, you've overreact. Sound sounds as if they overreacted. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> yeah, uh, any ideas as how to, to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. You don't have any friends? Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. All right, so where would those be? Grab that. Revelio. Is that going to show us where the gobstones are? I'm guessing it's kind of in this room somewhere. But I don't see them. Down here? Outside? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah. Rebellion. Oh, I see. I trust the preliminary task is worth too much. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Question is, where are the others? All right, let's go this way. Oh. Well, that's cool. Revelio. Oh. Another age. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, so we can go ahead and collect our... Uh, it wasn't this one, right? We got new item in an inventory, too. Under challenges, wasn't it? Pages? Yeah. So claim reward, and then this is the next one. 15. Okay, let's go look at our gear. Yeah, it's not in here. Even though I claimed it. Maybe it's just too high a level? Inventory? But what do we have here? Oh, the gobstone. I see. Okay, let's see if we can find these other gobstones. Revelio. Hope we have another ding. In this direction. Might be underneath me. Or it could be upstairs too. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Nope. Revelio. Maybe over here. It's close. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a page, too. Sirs and gentle ladies, where are we off to today? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Revelio. Alleged friends with Marlin himself. Warren Knight of the Round Table, although he was only known to the wizarding world, he is famous for defeating Wyvern of Wye. Way? 
and now spends his days challenging students to duels. Stand back, you knaves! Know you not who I am? That is so cool. Revelio. Uh, where is the next? Oh, I see the next one. Can I? Akio. Can't grab it there. Let's see if we can go around and grab it from here. There we go. There's another one upstairs. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. What? Oh, right there. Akio. Let's go up the stairs. Or up the ladder. What is up here? Whoa. Revelio. A mystery model. This standing model, the hand is demarcated to help students in practice of palmistry. Interesting. We just got some gold. What is the gold going to be used for? Revelio. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I get. I bet that's uh, Natty's uh, mother. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I am looking. Where do we need to go next? Off on another adventure, are we? I kind of like that they kind of point you in the direction of finding them. So you can kind of like go ahead and get them done. I like to do side quests as soon as I get them because if you know anything about my Skyrim series, they kind of pile up. If you don't take care of them right away, you run into a big mess. Oh. Lumos. A dark in here. Oh, here's a painting. Is this one of those? It is. Is that it's got to be close by, right? Let's buy a bunch of paintings in a waiting for the game to kind of finish having its fit. There we go. Still having its fit. Are uh, you gonna go in? Oh, I gotta turn off the. All right, let's go upstairs. Yeah, see, now it's just, it's done. It's done having its fit. It's done. I don't understand it. It's not my card. It's like the game. The game is like loading a bunch of stuff. What is this? Oh, another one of those puzzles. Where are the, there's that one. And there. Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay. Maybe we have to match... Snake and the spider. Hey, that's what we need to do. There's a spider. Oh, you know what? The double is the... Yeah. I had it already. I bet that's what it is. Yeah. Now I can open this. No? What does it mean? 21. 
that, that makes no sense. Do I gotta count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten there. So if it's ten, one, two, three. So is this supposed to be whatever that is? Let's try that. that thing and then the bottom one's 21 so that's 10 uh so that'd be 20 21 so it'd be the owl looking thing it would be oh it's not even on here mm-hmm oh oh hold on hold on hold on equals the number in the center it equals the number in the center so one plus the spider and the spider is one two three four five six seven eight nine so that'd be ten total right and so plus three would be one two three so the first one is what i had so i i got that one right and then it's 21 the Hydra would be one, two, three, four. That's 17. It's four. So one, two, three, four. It's the Hydra. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Don't know what it is. Maybe you guys want to help me out. Don't spoil anything, though. Oh, what are you do? Revelio. You do a thing. Oh, this is the room with stairs? Oh boy. I hear it. I don't know where it's at. Akio. Can I grab that? Nope, Cage, come here. There we go. Revelio. Oh, that's. That's crazy. Alright, I gotta go up. Was it that painting right there? Oh, it's right here. I think there's another one. Honey Duke's passageway, hidden behind the statue of one-eyed witch, is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellars to Honey Dukes. Only be accessed using a particular charm. Ooh. Revelio. There is another one in here somewhere. Okay, how do I get up? Here we go. They go. I hear it. Let's go up further. I wonder if the stairs kind of switch on you. Oh. There we go. Moving staircase. Savvy student is wise to keep an eye on the stairs as they can change positions without notice. While certain students may not mind being late for class, they are very well... Uh, they may very well regret being late to dinner. Okay, let's go up. Will they move from underneath my feet, though? Oh, there's another puzzle piece here. There's probably another puzzle here. There is. Oh, these are going to frustrate me until I learn what they are. Revelio. Where is that? Yeah, see, here's another... Hmm. It's on the roof somewhere. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented...
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah. And I think this thing... Revelio. The field guide. Unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. I wonder it's so massive. It, was, uh, it has survived all its astounding... Uh... All astounding since trolls do not ordinary wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it uh, in confusion or anger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this room? Good thing, Professor Weasley. Revelio. Trophy room. The room contains house cup footage. Trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given to school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. Protego, Revelio. Wish those notes stayed around a little bit longer. Goblet of Fire Casket. Goblet of Fire is, uh, rests within the ancient jewel encrusted chest. The Goblet of Fire. Sorry. The Goblet has served as means of se uh, selecting champions for the Triwizard Tournament since the contest established... Or since the establishment... Or the constat... <laughs> Get read! Contest establishment in late 13th century. Now where are... Revelio. That gob... Okay, there's something to do with this. In recognition of the explorer's skills in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff. Hmm. That's cool. A big trophy. Right, Revelio. Yeah. yeah, we got more stuff. Here. House Elf Armor. The armor is House Elf are, is rumored to have been made by a cruel wizard who wanted his elf to protect to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was was too dense to realize the armor could, in fact, be considered clothing. Oh, yeah, that's right. And so, <laughs> the moment the elf donned it. He dis uh disappeared it right out of it, never to be seen again. Yeah, that's right because apparently they can as as soon as you give clothing to a house elf, they're free. They're no longer. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the go. school for Zenobia's gobstones. I will. Rebellion. I will. I will. I'm get. I'm collecting all these field note pages. Centurion. Centurion armor misguided peace offering huh that's cool I think we're pretty much done in here oh there it is Akio. anyway we have one more to go I've always said that travel broadens the mind Oh, is it in here? Oh, it's in here. Revelio. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Akio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. All right, how do I get back to her? This way. Oh, not before we get this. Additional school robe. Now, I'm kind of hoping that we can sell some of these items. I'm guessing we will be able to once we explore outside. I'm guessing falling to your death would be bad. I'm going to have to spend some time. Whoa! <laughs> Spend some time on that one puzzle. 
It's got to be something really simple. It's got to be something simple. Hmm. I wonder if it changes every time. I love that you can explore the whole place. Alright. Down here. We should be pretty close to her. Right, Revelio. Heard it. Oh, we have another one of these. We do. Lumos. Where would that be? Be over here? No, it's not out here. Pillars. There's a window. The place I can think would be over in this. Hmm, so this one's a little bit more complex. Don't tell me it's like right next to her. No. Okay, there's so there's two pillars. It looks like it goes into a darker hall. And then there's a mural behind it. Is it downstairs, maybe? Where would there be pure? Uh, let's see here. They say her body. I'm not seeing it. What can I do here? Ooh, have some tea. <laughs> oh, I don't think you'd be running with the tea cup in your hand. Yeah, this one's a uh, a bit harder. I'd always want to say it's either up. Revelio. It's not that way. Hmm. Yeah, not seeing it. Oh, there's another mirror over there as well. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. All right, here she is. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yes, of course. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Uh, I think that's a terrible idea. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. She's, she's still gonna do it regardless. Level six. All right, what do we have next to do? Let's take a look at our quests. Um, let's see here. We have an assignment to do. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Uh, what about our inventory? Oh. Oh, we actually collected that. Very cool. Got some more collections. We have a lot to collect. That's going to take us a while. Oh, I guess we're heading this way. Revelio. So far, this game is super fun. I am enjoying it immensely. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember Sweet. to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your oh. wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, we're, we're mixing in different things now. Awesome. Reparo. Mending charm reparo can be used to mend broken object and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay. Where? Let's take a look at our map here real quick and select it. Yeah, it's this one right here. Uh, is this going to point us in? I was going the wrong direction. Here. Any news about the dragon pit upon the fall? Oh, this is cool. Wheat. Revelio. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. Oh wait, I can't. There we go. I get through. There we go. A leather long coat. Let's take a look at that. We got some different gloves. Oh, it's it's locked. It had to be level seven. But we do have that. I think we were already wearing that, weren't we? Yeah, we were already wearing that. All right, we have 180 gold as well. <laughs> Revelio. That was good. Something in here. I accidentally dropped a flobber worm down my robes and potions once. You'd think I'd been hit with Tarantalegra. Oh, here we go. Wooden cat. Another one. Revelio. Okay, there it is. By the bells. It's about time. Three Sister Bells. Three Sister Bells are said to be a tribute to three similar named beautiful step ridges that rise majestically over the 
glean in Agrilshire? Agrilshire? Something like that is rumored that could, you can one can hear them ringing in the glean way across the highlands. Disgusting mudblood ruined. Revelio. Right over here. Ooh, that's a broom. Broken broom. This broken broom belongs to Selen Horton Abbey, and rumored is that all the remains, after she insisted in demonstrating her experimental lo uh, lunar apparition charm to fellow third years, no one knows if she if she succeeded. So can I fix it? Repair it. Apparently not. Well, fancy meeting you here. Revelio. What is that? Flattened armor. A set of armor belonging to Sir Scr uh Scrawlthorpe? <laughs> uh the headless or the yeah, headless who unwillingly challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Ouch. What are you up to now? Oh, we got like kind of a headband or a hat or something. Revelio. That door's locked. Okay, let's talk to... Hello, Sebastian. Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? There it is. is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's do it. I wonder what the maximum level you can get up to in this game is. I'm guessing it's not going to be super high. Uh, and I hope there's going to be DLCs for the game. Sweet. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she well, seems to have taken look. quite a shine to you. Has she? Wow. That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. <laughs> Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. British Stadium. Revelio. What are what we're going to run into? Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Oh, look at that place. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So no. how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Oh, okay. How many? What in the world? <laughs> Those plants are making noise. Oh, what is that over here? What is this? Moonstone. 
All right, so some things we need to collect by shooting them, and some things we're gonna need to be collecting by going into them. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look, what's going on? See for yourself. Oh, quite a sight, isn't it? Whoa! You certainly don't see that every day. Those things are massive. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them. Perhaps deep in sugar pit. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. I don't remember Hogsmeade in... in the books or anything. I mean, it's been a long time since I read the books. I just watched the movies not too long ago in kind of preparation for the game. Have you had much game. of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. My siblings and I have all been sorted into different houses. It came as no surprise to my father. Nothing better than a few pints of butterbeer and a pint that of That is really with my cool. On Christmas Eve. Hogwarts has brought me and my siblings closer together. I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. And most notably the dragon. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the frame drop here, guys. I really apologize. It, it seems like it... There's some areas that are really good, and there's just some areas that are not. I'm going to have to mess around with it in between episodes. It's super Mr. smooth Moon. sometimes. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. There we go. Like, now it's better. A worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you messed our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes oh, big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? <sighs> Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <laughs> I think he had a one oh, too many I don't drinks. know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a sight. I'm gonna try to collect things Mr. as Moon, soon as I to the character. My sister I can. Is lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is oh he's a caretaker in too. She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Revelio. Hogsmeade, the only all wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been favorite. A haunt of Hogwarts student, third years and up for centuries. Accio. Grab that. Oh, this is really cool. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all Revelio. want to look like moths to a flame. Precarious cauldrons. 
stack the set of cauldrons outside of Seerity Win. Seerity Win's advisors of the, sh the shop's wares. Should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fish fashion will be immediately eye catching and ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a portion of any intent, intended effect. Okay, so we got a little bit of a potion making location here. But guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. You guys, I, I'm I'm so, so excited about this game. This is, uh, it, it's been super, super fun. I want to keep on playing, but guys, I got to get this edited and get this out to you. So thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to go and try to figure out the issues with uh, some of the stuttering. Uh, maybe there'll be a bug fix out soon for that. I'm guessing it's kind of the game. Uh, if it's my graphics card, I'll try to figure that out myself. Um, maybe it's settings. Uh, also, um, I will probably... Yeah, uh, let's forget about that. I'm not going <laughs> to... We'll, uh, we'll be back and uh, head through Hogsmeade uh, in the next the beginning of the next episode. I think the next episode is going to be about two hours long as well. Or two, three hours long because um, I really want to play this. I want to play this more. Uh, I might record another another bit right after this, uh, after I kind of mess around with the settings a little bit more. Uh, wh who knows? Guys, thank you for hanging out with me. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.